for more, we can speak to our chief foreign editor, Rob Parsons. Um, Rob, what do you make of Joe Biden's latest comments that an invasion is imminent in the coming days? Yeah, I mean, well, this is not the first time that Joe Biden has said this. For a while, last week, there was talk of Wednesday being the date of a possible Russian invasion. That got pushed back to Thursday. On neither occasion did it happen. But I think what the Americans are trying to do here, NATO is trying to do, is keep the pressure up. Uh, on Russia, keep forcing them into denials, which in turn makes it more difficult for the Russians, if they are seriously thinking about an invasion, uh, to, to, to think twice about it before they, before they act. Um, you, the, the Russians, for their part, as they have done all along, are denying that they're planning an invasion at all. Uh, the, Lloyd Austin, the US Defense Secretary, former a four-star general in the U.S. military him said just yesterday, look, you know, there are 150,000 troops, Russian troops, on the borders with Ukraine. You know, with a, with a, a mass build-up like that, we have to take it seriously. We have to take the threat of a, an invasion seriously because the potential is there. Uh, a, a, it's claimed now by the, the Americans and NATO that over 50 percent of the forces that are massed along the Ukrainian border are within 50 kilometers of the, Ukra of the Ukrainian border. We know from Thursday that the, the Russians have built a pontoon bridge across the Pripyat River just to the, a few kilometers just to the north of the Ukrainian border, which would facilitate, if they chose to invade, that invasion. So, you know, out of caution, if nothing else, uh, the Americans have to say, have to assume uh, that an invasion is, is likely to happen, even if it doesn't happen. Yeah, and as you're speaking, we're getting a wire saying the OSCE had already recorded 80 ceasefire violations um, on the line of contact as of this Friday morning. That might be while we're hearing the U.S. Secretary of State being a little bit less circumspect, circumspect than usual. Yeah, Marie, you're right. Anthony Blinken has been very circumspect, particularly in comparison with his president, Joe Biden, over the last few days. Uh, but on Thursday, the United Nations Security Council, he was very forthright, uh, suggesting that the Russians were planning uh, to... to manufacture an incident which they could then use as an excuse to, to invade Ukraine. Uh, he, he mentioned various different scenarios, including possible terrorist attack in, inside Russia itself, accusations, false accusations that the Ukrainians might be planning or have carried out a chemical weapons attack, uh, that the Ukrainians are planning genocide of Russian citizens inside eastern Ukraine. Remember, too, that the Russians over the last few years have issued hundreds of thousands of uh, Russian passports uh, to Ukrainian citizens living in eastern Ukraine. This gives them the opportunity, if they so choose, to say if there's an attack, for instance, uh, by Ukrainian forces inside their own country in eastern Ukraine, that they're attacking Russian citizens. It's exactly what the Russians did in 2008 in Georgia, in South Ossetia, having issued Russian passports to Georgian citizens there. You know, the same scenario could be played. It's interesting this time round, I think, that the Americans are being much more aggressive in the information wars, not just the Americans, NATO as a whole, much more aggressive in the information wars, putting out satellite imagery that they get as soon as they get it to embarrass the Russians, to force them into denials, to make it much more difficult you know, to, to operate freely. Previously, they were always behind in 2014 in Crimea, Crimea, 2008 in Georgia. They were always behind the Russians. The Russians would take a step, and then the NATO and the US would follow, follow after them. This time round, uh, they're preempting any possible action by the Russians. It seems to be a deliberate policy to be much more aggressive in the information war. And they seem this time around to, to have got the Russians on the back foot. Indeed. All right. Thank you very much, Rob. Rob Parsons, French 24's chief foreign editor.